In today's video, I want to talk about how to calculate a monthly payment in Microsoft Excel. In this spreadsheet, uh, we have the principal amount in A4, and we have the term or the number of years in B4, and we have the interest rate in C4. So in D4, uh, I like to have the monthly payment. Well, there's actually a built-in function in Microsoft Excel that's called PMT, which does exactly that. So I'm going to go to cell D4, and I'll start the formula with the equal sign, of course. Now, I can type in the formula, but it might be even more helpful if I went up to the FX screen. So I'll pick on the FX, and uh, I can actually type in payment here and find the PMT function, or uh, another way to find it would be that it's under the financial category. And uh, these are all financial based functions. Perhaps we'll have other videos about some of these other functions. But let's go with one that's called PMT. And if we look at the description here, calculates the payment for a loan based on the constant payments and a constant interest rate. And that's exactly what we want to do. Now, of course, you can get more help on this function by picking on help right there. But we're just going to go right for it. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, so now notice how there's a screen with uh, the function arguments and there's five function arguments, but I just usually use the top three. And by the way, this screen is indicating that the top three are required uh, because they're in dark black and the ones that are in light black are optional. And I just use the top three anyway. So um, the rate is going to be the interest rate, except it's looking for um a a monthly interest rate really so we're really going to take um the interest rate that's here and divide that by 12. now in, in this case i must have given that that cell c4 i must have called that a range name of interest uh there'll be other videos that i have about how to how to make the range names but let's say interest in this case means cell c4 um now the number of periods and uh, per is the total number of payments for the loan. So really it's looking for the number of months. So in this case, we're going to take B4 and multiply that by 12. Notice how when I clicked on B4, it gives us the word term. That's another one of those range names. But let's say term in this case means cell B4. And the PV is the present value, which is the amount of the loan or the principal. In this case, I'm going to click on A4. And then again, that has one of those range names that says the word amount there. So um, the, for the the rate, I'm actually taking the annual interest rate and dividing it to, by 12. The number of periods is the number of years, and we're multiplying that by 12 because it's really looking for the number of months there. And for the amount, we're going to use the principle that's in cell A4. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then notice our formula. It says uh, equals PMT, open parentheses, interest divided by 12, uh, colon term divided by 12, uh, times 12, uh, comma amount, close parentheses. Again, if we want to see what those range names mean, I can click on that, that name box and click on the pull down. Amount is really going to be a four, interest is really C4, as we can see, and the term is really B4. If I change any one of those values, I'm going to change the amount to 300,000 and watch D4 change. All right, so I can change either the term or the interest rate or the amount, and D4 is going to change. Now, notice how D4 comes up as a negative number. Uh, it's because they're, they're assuming that's kind of a, um, a debit from your account uh, when you make your monthly payment. So if you want that to make that be a positive number, uh, I'm just going to put a minus sign uh, in the formula here before the PM2, and therefore it'll become a positive number, all right? Uh, but normally the actual result of the PMT function is a negative number. So we can use the PMT built-in function in Microsoft Excel to generate the monthly payment uh, as, a great, as a great formula.